the present state of Bitcoin development and where we're going in the future with the uh, programming languages in a vlog filmed at Stanford University yesterday. This is Gavin Mail. Stand by for a uh, special uh, special edition which we're featuring Script doing a doing a little you know debate with a Gregory Maxwell lookalike. Uh, who's a key coder and developer developer in the industry. Uh, and then also a special appearance by Dan Bona, who's the uh, infamous, he's the infamous uh, Stanford professor regarding cryptography. Now he's just going to be in the, uh, in the thumbnail on the video because we got a picture with him and I didn't get any actual footage with him. I didn't even know who he was when I was there filming. So this is just going to be a little vlog style, you know, with just some of the key snippets, just a little preview for what could possibly come in the future for the, for the future events. Uh, you know, one of the takeaways I would say at the event, the most important takeaway was that those there were, uh, were, were, were informed on Bitcoin. However, Bitcoin actual development and script script on bitcoin and what it can actually do it was it was like unknown to them very unknown they found uh, the the presenter matthew we found a, an article written by none other than shao lu at script about uh about opcat and the development of uh of bitcoin script on on bitcoin in comparison to ethereum and so it's uh it's rather in its infancy. The opportunity is massive. So I'm just putting this video out there to hopefully like raise awareness. People can get more familiar with like what could potentially happen with this, uh, this Bitcoin development in the space. You know, so it's, uh, and right now, basically the, the difference is, is that you've got the big block Bitcoins. They are opening up most all of the hash functions on on the base layer, so where the op codes are enabled. Now, the, uh, the small block Bitcoin, the BTC version, they they've they've, enabled, they've disabled most of the op codes, and so the argument is, or the I, I guess the proposition, the 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 hope in attending a conference like this is that the uh, the Bitcoin core developers would see something like this, and then they would enable what's called opcat. Opcat is going to, uh, according to Script, that will allow. It will allow enough functionality to create smart contracts and do most of the cool contract things on the small small block version of Bitcoin. It's not going to uh, replace by fee and you know SegWit. It's not going to change that stuff, but at least it will give a, it will give a, a a taste of what's what could potentially happen with the with the, you know the small block version of Bitcoin. So. Don't forget to check out Gorilla Pool. It's not, this, this is not sponsored by them, but I got their shirt on right now. Shout out to my man, Kurt. Uh, mine about it, Gorilla Pool. And all right, stay tuned for the rest of the video, and you can see the vlog. I'll see you at the top. About it, Gregory Maxwell. Before that Google Pool RPS, someone could deny the service that they could spend this, anyone can spend output, but with the existing key rate to prevent other people from bumping it. If I recall correctly. Um, that predicted Bitcoin on their chair. There's kind of been some slow and steady development over this. Yeah, that's just Lampard signature, isn't it? <laughs> slow, but super, super quantum response. Mm. You, then you leak the private key. Instead of just leak the, the one bit or two bits. The prover doesn't have to use a fixed knob, so the prover would have to be forced to prove they use a fixed knob, which would require an additional paper. Yeah, if you do it, uh, I, I'm talking about like, you can even slash it if you have OCAD, you can slash it in the script because you can you can parse the R card and from the signature. You can you can compare, say hey you got these two signatures, they're different, but oh. the R part is the same. Oh, cool. You wanna talk about it? Oh, I mean if you can, if you can, I mean Can can you summarize like some what can you summarize this one? Yeah, people talk about this uh, Merkle tree idea because Merkle tree shows up everywhere, right? Block headers. SPV proofs, but a lot of times it's uh, you know it's about hash things and then get them together, right? Or even you can do a stack proof. So for, for my work, my, I mostly I think people talk about a lot of the ideas, but for me, I'm like a coder, so I just want to code it up. So we have this uh, you know high level language based on TypeScript, so you don't have to write uh, like a esoteric script because. I don't know about you, but I don't like, uh, I, I cannot reason about 
you know, script, it's too complicated. For me, I, I just have this wrapper, like a TypeScript, high-level language, you can compile down to Bitcoin script like this. So this is how you write the same thing in Bitcoin script, but you can also write in uh, like a TypeScript. So cool. I, I just can, I think this is much easier to work with. So I, I just <coughs> want people to, hey, you don't have to be like a script engineer. You can just, if you know JavaScript, you can, you can code and, and all those are broadcast to Signal today. So, you know, you, you can, it's all open source, you can go there and try it yourself. So, it's, uh, basically people talk about the ideas, uh, I just implement them, so. All right, that's it. Be sure to subscribe, like, hit the, hit the like button, hit the notification bells and leave a comment, okay? Because we're gonna try to build another hack hackathon in San Francisco coming up. It's gonna be a, a much, you know, I mean, it's going to be bigger than the last one. It's going to be much more expansive. So that's going to be coming up. But uh, there's going to be another event coming up in about a month in San Francisco, which is going to be similar to this one, featuring probably featuring the same professor. I'm not sure who, but coming up soon. So stay tuned. Hit the, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you in the loop, and I'll see you at the top. This is Gavin.